Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Once Upon a Time Tinkerbell inspired makeup look. Now, this video is a collab with some awesome ladies. I will have all of their channels linked down below. We are all going to be doing Once Upon a Time, the TV show on ABC, looks inspired by some of the characters. Now they're not trying to look like the character or recreate something that they actually wear. It's sort of something that we were inspired by looking at. Here's a picture of all of the looks on each person's look. I will link their channel so that you can go and watch their Once Upon a Time inspired video as well. So let's get started with our tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to be doing sort of a rugged, dirty Tinkerbell look. And what I've done already is I've just put my hair up in sort of a tight bun, like, you know, the Tinkerbell style, but it's sort of more messy and I've sort of made my hair look a little bit, you know, like I haven't washed it in a while and just have like bangs out framing my face like, Tinkerbell does on the show and I also have on my Tinkerbell charm bracelet and I thought this little green necklace would go well too. So I'm just using the Hard Candy eyeshadow primer and you know it's it's nice and it actually makes things stick quite well so I'm gonna smear this all over my face. Okay. Then I'm going to take the darkest like green side of this two-sided little palette here called Jealous and I'm going to take like this darkest side and sort of go over and just put that but with like you know this green color Ooh. and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color that they suggest for the brow bone using the same brush put it in the inner corner to sort of get a green base down and then we're gonna go all out. I'm gonna take this darkest green shade right here and go to town. So I'm starting in the outer V, going inward, going upward. And I'm coming around like this and sort of like hollowing right here. Oh. And I'm going to take the lightest color again and just put it up by my brow bone. And sort of just kind of blend that all together. same to the other eye. Okay, at this point you're just going to want to like sort of like rub what's on your face just to sort of make it not so bright because it just wants to be just sort of there like you were rolling in dirt or something. And then I'm going to take another Wet n Wild palette which is newer. It's called I Dream of Greeny and I'm going to use this color down here which is like the eyelid color they say and I'm going to sort of just put that all over and this I think is like the signature Tinkerbell color I would say it's like the color she wears then I'm just going to take some of these green shades and sort of rub them on my face so I'm going to take this greeny color back deck out and I'm going to sort of apply up here and anywhere you'd sort of like get dirty on my nose, chin, around my head, so over here. Shade again these bottom two and sort of put that all over my face and once again I'm just going to blend everything out with my hands so 
my eyes. I'm going to apply this NYC pigment and it is a opal sparkle eye dust. And it looks like this. And I'm just gonna take this out and just sort of sprinkle it on my face. Now I'm gonna take this sparkly green eyeshadow by Prestige and it's in the color Jade and just line my waterline and tight line with it. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying mascara. I'm just using Telescopic Shocking Extensions by L'Oreal. So I shut off the lights because I think that the lights in here were giving it a little bit of a different look than it actually does look. It looks a lot more green and matches my necklace with the lights off like I was trying to show you. Um, so this is just natural sunlight right this second. And so you can see I sort of look, you know, dirty. And so I'm going to take a light colors jumbo eye pencil and I'm going to apply it as lipstick because Tinkerbell is always wearing like a gold sash thing around her neck and around her head and stuff like that. So obviously she must like gold. So I'm going to take this color which is like the exact same color as the gold stuff that she usually wears and I'm just going to apply that. Okay, so actually, you know why I love this so much is because this gold color actually sort of has a greenish tinge to it, I think, and I really like that about it. So, this is what it looks like. I can actually, what I was going to do is apply a little bit of the dust, the fairy dust stuff, to the middle. There we go. And you can just like add a little bit more of this to your face if you feel you want to look more sparkly. So there you have it. This is my once upon a time, Tinkerbell inspired makeup look, like I said, once again, it is not supposed to look exactly like her. This is supposed to be sort of like a theatrical sort of version of something that I was inspired by, which was Tinkerbell from Once Upon a Time. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, it may look a little messy, but that's sort of the look for it. Obviously, you wouldn't wear this to go out or anything like this. This is more like a theatrical or a Halloween type look or just if you need to dress up for a party or anything like that. So that is, you know, the purpose of this. And if you, just for entertainment, I guess, or if you want to make a movie and be Tinkerbell or something like that. So... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of the other tutorials that are inspired by Once Upon a Time characters. Thank you so much for coming and watching All of these girls in the club are wonderful people and I love them all dearly. They are just amazing creators and I really, really love their videos. They are so genuine and awesome. So if you are not subscribed to them already, you should go subscribe to them and watch their videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to follow me on any of my social media sites, you know where to find me. Beauty is for everyone with the four being a four and the one being a one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.